Welcome everyone to the Malden region, home of the Medford Memorial Hospital, the town of Malden, and of course, MedTech. So from fancy trailers to death claw nests and Brahman Islands, this place has it all. Now let's get exploring. Stumbling upon this location, one might think that they got all these red coats from the Museum of Freedom. Probably a really good guess. Now this little container camp does have an attack dog and a raider nearby, but for your trouble you can get an explosive box and some ammunition. Don't mind all the mannequins sitting about and the red coats. I'm sure it symbolizes some strange storytelling. It's kind of funny. Uh, there's two women around the side here by the cooking station and a wee cam box for your trouble. There's also a really spectacular sight, which is the shopping cart turret. These things never fail to amuse me. Look at its stubby little lack of legs. It's just in a shopping cart, but it's still going strong. Another turret located up here, and as I said, there is a raider to deal with. Not that you already had to deal with the nearby outpost Zamonja. We're actually just southwest of it. West of Lake Quanapot as well. Uh, hopefully I nailed that pronunciation. I've been working that for a while. But yes, uh, now this raider doing a bit of target practice. Is that right? All right against uh, against this. Can you shoot the heads off? Ah, nice. Does it do any more damage? No. Ah, oh, well. Shoot the heads off. Oh, the old red coats. Anyway, nice place. Thank you for letting us have a look around, their, uh, around your crib, sir. Uh, we will be moving on to find some... Oh, here, hey, hey. Uh, none of that. Ah, I thought so. Let's go on to the next place. I was passing this toxic pond and seen some tar berries in it. And I instantly thought, holy tar berry. I'm sure, you know, being exposed to these radioactive barrels, it might turn it into a more unique item. Turns out, tar berries are just really resilient and they'll grow anywhere. As you remember from the ghoul party and uh, obviously the slog has quite a few. There are some I actually picked it up whilst going through here. I drained the water away. I know all of you love seeing this command used. Uh, unfortunately, there's no wee stash in the middle. I was hoping that would have been the case. We toolbox, you know, there should have been more underwater items for you to lift stuff. I, I find it an amusing pastime. But yeah. Uh, this is located, if you want to find it, just northeast of Outpost Zamonja. We're actually just going east from here to our next unmarked location. Let's head on over there now. Taking in the breathtaking views of Lake Guanapote, right up in the hills, we can find a little camp. Now, it contains a toolbox and a recently put out fire, meaning the occupant is probably down towards the lake. A uh, little bit of a spoiler, we're going to find who I believe owned this camp in a wee second. But, as I mentioned uh, before, there's a car who has been smashed by a tree. A bit of environmental storytelling, unfortunately we cannot go there. Because you can't go out the uh, outside the map boundary where we're located right here at the boundary, as close as you can get. Uh, so, let's, uh, let's snip straight down, no delay. Uh, we'll go and find the person who this camp belongs to. At least, who I believe it is. Reason I think he's a good target? Because A, he's nearby, and B, he might have not come back to the camp. It's this little fellow here. He is a scavenger, and I assume, from the environment around him, he was uh, grabbing some of the items out of this truck and this car. A wee kickball nearby, and uh, using this toolbox and a hammer. Uh, and a wrench so th there you go you kind of even a blowtorch so you kind of get exactly what he was doing here maybe that was his camp up in the ridge it was a bit risky coming down towards this lake from the blood splatter i would assume that well he could have been taken out by the marlurks near this lake i mean there are quite a few it could have been a roman band of raiders because outpost simonja is also close um either way someone came across and pretty much ended this guy's career but not the fear there is plenty more unmarked locations coming right up continuing in true fashion we're walking up this little stream you can pick away at some of the blood leaf before venturing right to the bottom this right here is the repair boat now this little fellow i imagine was maybe trying to fix a hole in his boat and he had drove his car down and uh, obviously the bombs fell and that pretty much you know it was a bit of an inconvenience to his plans but the large toolbox is still for the taking oh i, th I th honestly the way he splashed there are you trying to tell me something sir Nope, he's pretty much far gone. But once you grab all the tools, uh, we can move on and uh, find something around the corner. If you all know where we are, west of Recon Bunker Theta. And uh, we're going 
to uh, this wee bridge just south. Let's go. Do you think she's still seaworthy after falling off the trailer? You might be thinking this is in fact the unmarked location, but no, it's what's beneath it. A bit of environmental storytelling. Uh, there's a Marlurk nest directly underneath in this dirty pipe. Now obviously it is one of the most perfect conditions for Marlurks to, uh, to nest in, and this wee guy bounces out of the water at the end. If you wonder where it is, it's right here north of Radio Tower 3SM and beside the lake. I just love this place. It's so quirky and uh, makes for a bit convenient wee base. We've got a weapons workbench. We've got a police protectron that we can activate by following this red wire. Let's go and see what is in the hut. Now, well, survivalist came out here. How he hold that police protectron, I will never know. But unlocking this wee terminal, we can switch him on. Uh, he's got quite a few things going on here. Vacuum tubes. Bit of a scientist, I would say. Military grade circuit boards. I mean, they're pretty rare. And let's see what we've got on the roof. We cooler with some ammunition. And he seemed to be overlooking towards what direction is that facing? Recon bunker Theta. Maybe that was meant to be you know, a bit of a sign that you should go north and explore. Because if you're sitting here, yep, on the wee pit boy, you can see the direction to the bunker. Just a, a cool wee place to find. Um, now. Where to next? Uh, I think there is a wee camp just across the way where you can see some cars in a tree. Yeah, sounds about right. Let's go over there. It seems camp was made here, but uh, unfortunately, well, it doesn't seem like anyone's left here. There's a wee settler over yonder. A wee duffel bag. Some food. They must be making supper when something terrible happened. I'm not too sure about these settlers, but... I, I definitely can tell you that there are some rad scorpions that pop out of the ground. I've just remembered the trigger hasn't happened yet. Um, but yeah, quite a cool wee location. South east of Recon Bunker Theta. And uh, as for how the cars got up, got up there, um, the number one theory is behemoths have maybe put it up there. That that seems to be the, the growing trend whenever it can't be explained why a car is somewhere. Just blame a behemoth. Now, let's go find Bunker now, shall we? One of the most important finds in Fallout in terms of unmarked locations. East of Radio Tower 3SM and south of Recon Bunker Theta. Place you won't want to miss. It's a wee deserted picnic area. You know, we cooler, we cooking station. But when you go through the bushes, ho ho, we find a bunker. Now, I can't remember fully what's inside, but we're going to find out. Uh, we've got a person sitting over here. We've got coolers, coolers, coolers. Plenty of items, we suitcase, aluminum, aluminium cans lying about. Boston Bugle, did you see how I kept uh, all my audiences happy with them comments? Or just annoyed both <laughs> with uh, that comment. But first aid kit and uh, yeah, just just really, really decent items. The first aid, invaluable for any run. Um, so yeah, it seems to be that a few, at least two people made it in here and yeah. Uh, that was about it. I wonder, did he maybe fall in? Oh, that'll be a sore old way to go. Now, we're going to go across the water because there's a guy who's got a wee, wee explosive box for us. So let's uh, let's just wander straight over to him. No need to no need to cut. Don't more, more editing than I have to. <laughs> Lazy man. So way out. But this soldier here, I uh, dubbed him the last watch. Uh, some barnacles around him, but an explosive box tends to have a decent range of loot. Um, you don't have to unlock it, so uh, that is even handier. Um, and a few wee fusion flea that's upside down. Oh. Now, the boat itself is capsized. I don't know whether he just found a final resting spot here uh, as he was carrying, you know, hauling this box about, or he was told to stay the position. It's hard to tell, but what we do know is, unfortunately, he didn't make the journey. Right now, let's uh, let's continue and see if this lake has any more to offer us. Lake, river, it's one of them. If you'll indulge me in some nostalgia, I remember walking through Linwoods and finding this scene. And I looked at the settler, I looked at the other body, all the skeletons, and thought, hmm, wonder what we're dealing with here. When I hovered over this and noticed Deathclaw Nest, I instantly looked about and went, I am in immediate danger and I must leave. Now, unless you're doing the quest Devil's Due, there isn't really an active Deathclaw in this area. Much 
as you would imagine with the nest now obviously once you go to limb woods and if you activate the tower well you know you attract death claws so there definitely is some around here maybe there are a few random encounters i don't remember too many in this area uh we're actually just we're just here west of limb woods you can find it in this wee slither here i know you have to deal with yaogwai and the river and then you've got to deal with death claws and then you get the limb woods and then there's mire lurks near parsons creamery speaking of mire lurks uh they're not up next they're actually the video after the next one i caught myself in that yeah that's that's good all right let's go over to the rusty trailer now nothing like living out in the wilderness i mean unless you know a nuclear attack happens but a steamer trunk is still up for grabs within this rusty trailer now if you want to know where it is it's uh directly northwest of parsons creamery in limb woods uh very out of the way that is for sure uh, anything in the back of the pickup that could be of any use nope nothing around the trailer no i mean it's a steamer trunk that you don't have to unlock now barring the death claws yao guai mar lurks that happen to be in the surrounding area i would still say it's a great pickup now our next location is uh it's actually just over this hill if i jump it yep yeah, it's the start of this pond this entire pond is indeed the next unmarked location now you might be looking and going well it's just a pond it's not just a pond it's a big puddle no there's a there's a mire lurk up here mire lurk king is that him no where's the king where'd he go to ah no he was here just a second ago okay he's went a wall he, he tends to walk about here notice all the bones uh, I call this the King's Pond because it's always a Marlurk King and I'm a really low level. So, you know, the fact that he is here, I I'm really confused as to where he is. I definitely didn't kill him when I was here. Anyway, if you want to know where it is, it's Wien Lake, as I said, uh, or Pond, just north of Parsons Creamery. Uh, and from this point, uh, we're going to go on to, I proved to you that the Pawalski survival shelters are not a good solution in an atomic war. Let's go. Imagine beating a family. I, I, if I just left that, you could clip that. Beating a family to a Pawalski shelter um, and just putting yourself inside. Well, this is what this fellow did. Let's remove the water. And uh, you can just find him sitting right here. Now, why did I say beat a family? Well, there's two skeletons over here next to this car with a wee pram. Uh, so I'm assuming they stopped seeing the bombs drop and, you know, quickly were going to run to the shelter this man had pulled up in his pickup got in first but uh as i bring the water back you'll find out that uh these shelters can get flooded yeah they <laughs> they weren't made waterproof so uh yeah not uh not an ideal place for you to jump in in the case of an atomic warp i would try and find a you know somewhere to hunker down that isn't one of them yeah, what a mad world when you think about it that they had them just everywhere. You know, it must have been must have been relatively scary, you know, and a lot of the environmental storytelling certainly points that. Okay, now there is another pond with some more items just south of us. So oh if you want to know where that is, by the way, uh that's it, just the wee intersection from Parsons Creamy if you're walking around to the coastal cottage, uh right there towards Salem. So uh yeah, that's where we are. Heading south. Let's go. I love all of your suggestions for locations. This one uh, was suggested, I believe, by Brandon uh, quite a wee while ago. And I've only got around to it now. But thankfully, in this montage and video, uh, we can have a wee bit of a exploration of the area. There's a suitcase, this fellow, and a car in the pond. Now, I'm going to drain the water away to see if we have anything more than just tar berries and a suitcase. Well, that would answer my question. It's amazing that there's just so much not, you know, I would love stashes in the water. I'd have, you know, been one of those people that just be, you know, sifting about. How rewarding would it have been if you passed over an area and you're like, how long? This place, you know, uh, first aid kit, a safe sticking out, you know. I suppose you do have to place in the fact that uh, for player convenience and... You know, a few other things, maybe environment. Why would well see if uh, there's fridges in the water everywhere? So surely you could throw in something else. Anyway, not food. It would probably spoil underwater. I wouldn't really, wouldn't really fancy that. Uh, now that we've explored this, let's go find 
our next destination. Just me swooping back to show you the location of the wet suitcase just north of the Parsons State and seeing Asylum and east of the Parsons Creamery. Hope that helped. I'm actually glad we get a wee bit of variation in the weather. It's a little foggy at the moment. This is the Blotfly Camp. Now, the Blotflies aren't here because I exterminated them when I was doing my video uh, many, many weeks ago. But what we can still find is all the items. We've got stim packs, we've got a uh, wee suitcase here, another wooden crate, and uh, lots of food. So if you're doing a survival playthrough, great place to stop by. Clearly whoever it was was making some Blotfly uh, <laughs> food, and uh, I don't think they took too kindly to it. Some Gwynnup Brew as well. Now, I wonder what, what was he looking in the direction of? Well, the lake, General Atomics Galleria, maybe the Skylands flight. Or maybe he just had a decent wee view here and he was trying to make a bit of a living out in the in the Commonwealth. Now, the thing is, settlers never, it never ends too well for them. So sad. That's why we have the ability to build settlements so that we can, you know, protect them a wee bit better. Now... That, that has all been covered we'll be heading on uh, south to our next unmarked location right on cue just beside skylands flight uh 1981 yep right here to the west you can find a gunner camp all the way up onto the freeway now it is heavily defended they aren't messing about here we've got turrets searchlights and uh, obviously quite a few gunners for you to deal with Although they have apparently used some uh, mannequins to seem to bump up their numbers. It might fool some people, but I know everyone that views this channel use are all intelligent people. You know that a gunner is sleeping sideways in this bed. Huh. I'll never really see things like that. Hacksaw and blood packs means they certainly believe they'll be doing a lot of fighting in this area. And to be honest, that all the enemies about... Yeah, they definitely will. Ooh, a stealth boy in a toolbox. That's that's always a decent find. Now, I am going to say that they've blocked this off for a reason, but I think someone at the end of this took a pot shot at uh, the wee camp below. Power armor station as well. Although I don't think there's any power armor gunners here. Maybe at a higher level, I'm quite low on this one. Uh, going up to the second level, there's a few windmills powering their, their new base of operations. Is there anything in this fridge? Ooh, there is some new cola. Nice. Uh, I think there's a few more items we can find. Uh, at least you're sleeping normally. And a charging laser sniper rifle. Things things you just love to see. And uh, we, we lunch thing as well. Okay, so let me go on to my, my theory here. Because uh, I don't think we're using that lift to get down. No. So someone, I believe a gunner... Uh, has went all the way over here and decided to uh, take a shot straight down. Now, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to explain to you why this theory works. We are directly below where I was standing. And uh, you can see here, something has happened. There's a blood splatter and there's a dead scavenger at their camp. The camp obviously just being behind this wee billboard right here near Wildwood Cemetery and uh, just below the gunner camp. So what I was thinking is one of the gunners have went to the edge and taken a pot shot and has blasted this scavenger in the head. And that's that's all she wrote. Uh, not, much, not much is going to stop you. But it is curious how the gunners have barricaded part of the freeway despite this bit already collapsing. Were they, were they afraid of something? It's a bit seems a bit ominous that you would barricade both sides oh who am i to judge right let's uh let's head down here to our next unmarked location which is none other than this truck here i don't know if a steamer trunk is meant to spawn here again at a lower level sometimes some things don't show up but these crossroads are certainly one to uh, to behold as i look around and encounter nothing there's this wee brahmin that does have a rad roach crawling about. Maybe, maybe that, maybe that's the unmarked location. Oh no, it's a blood bug. Okay, so this guy seems to spawn as you exit uh, the back of the truck here. So my, my, my thought process in that is uh, it's, it's just a wee trigger. Uh, so you go in, you're like, oh, is there items? Realizes there's no items. I'm gonna 
triple check. Yeah, there definitely might. I think there would be a steamer trunk. Uh, that blood bug seems to spawn. Go over to the Brahmin here. Ah, uh, that that Brahmin. Look, there's a rad roach and two blood bugs. That is definitely the unmarked location here. As as strange as it looks. Cool though, isn't it? Right, let's uh, continue. My number one advice in any Fallout playthrough, always go into the bosses. You never know what you might find. Now, this one in particular has two very unlively guests. Uh, one at the front, maybe it was the driver, and one person at the back with some fancy lad snacks and a suitcase. In my case, it's got Psycho and sunglasses. Not a bad find. If you want to know where it is, directly east of Wildwood Cemetery on that main road. Some wild melon blossom that you can also pick up just whilst you're in the area. Now this next one's a bit unique, it's a pickup truck and I can safely say I, it took me a while to realise what was unique about this place but you'll see. Sometimes you're just scavenging and you see another wrecked vehicle, there's lots of them, but this was the unmarked location and I looked around and went, there's nothing here, peered over, I was like, there's no items. Wait a minute. So we've got the uh, got a poster here for vault shelter we've got another vault tech one more vault tech you know photos and then we've got the skeleton who's conveniently missing their head but there is a hunting rifle and i know of a certain subscriber that i'd like to see this a 0.308 round he knows exactly who he is um glad the glad the point out a bullet fun fact didn't know the rifle was there Knew the posters were. Didn't know the rifle was. Oh, wait. Maybe the reason he's missing the head, hunting rifle, bullet, missing hit. He, uh, he tripped and fell. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the most community guideline friendly way I can word that. Uh, a few ferns and other items up in the hill. Um, and then our next arm mark location is... Ooh, oh, if you want to know where this is. Heck, if I didn't show you where it was in the map, it'd be pretty pointless, wouldn't it? Uh, we are just south of Skylands Flight, very close to Dark Hollow and Wildwood Cemetery. Kind of triangulate that, uh, the location from that. Okay, I'm going to have to reference this. Uh, no, I don't. I have <laughs> references? Who needs those? There's a wee camp over here with several mongrels patrolling and... Uh, <laughs> there's sometimes I catch things in video and I'm glad this is free-flowing. Uh, we've got some cans, more skeletons. They seem to have set up a bit of a, a campsite here. Did I just try and pickpocket a wild mongrel? Ah, you have no items. Now, it seems the campfire's fresh. The skeletons don't seem that fresh. Unless the mongrels add every bit, but I highly doubt it because they wouldn't wouldn't be here if the you know if the bodies were like this um but yeah not much in the way of items but a scene nonetheless maybe it was we maybe it was a family maybe it was you know two couples we swingers night you know hey gay and they're <laughs> they're just sitting up here in the hill um just beside dark hollow pond i mean it's probably more items than dark hollow pond has oof hate to do a primary location like that Right, let's uh, let's carry on and see what else we can find, all right? Wicked Shipping Container 4. That's where we're at at the moment. Now, of course, to open this, you will need the key. And the key can be found at uh, the Wicked Shipping Fleet Lockup. We're beside Mass Fusion Containment Shed at the moment. Um, and if you need to know, just in case, where to get the key, it's over here. Wicked Shipping Fleet Lockup. Makes it easier instead of having to open all the master locks. Um, although fair play to all of you that do. Um, steamer trunk full of items, lots of rot away, and uh, an explosive box. You just have to deal with, you know, the radioactive barrels that they were shipping for mass fusion. Conspiracy theory. I think so. Right, so we've cleared that, and that means we're on to our next place, which is conveniently located just south. This is the scavenger's camp. But Thomas, where's the scavengers? Very good question. Well, you see, normally they get killed by a yellow guy that conveniently spawns nearby. In my case, I believe that is what has happened. Uh, uh, the camp, just to reiterate, south of Mass Fusion Containment Shed. Bit strange that uh, that no one's about. I, I guess that's just the way it is. Leading on, though, 
to our next unmarked location. I don't specifically have a name for this, so once you see the name, it's like a, uh, the monkey ruins or something. Ah, I'll be I'll be creative. Yeah. So uh, within here, it seems to be the ruins of an old house. We TV set and uh, some B and Y Z U Z U's. Oh, U Z K. Okay. Uh, sometimes I like the loo. It's like 3 a.m. Could you not? I thought so. Oof. Strange the monkey went like that. Oh no. Right. Oof. Yeah, it, it is 3 a.m. doing these. I, I, I'm loving it. I'm just enjoying this type of content so much that uh, I decided to jump scare myself. Thank goodness I don't play Dead Space or anything. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's go to the next one. The Malden area seems to have really liked their buses I've recovered from the jump scare. So let's, uh, let's go. And the worst part was I knew the scorpion was there. That wasn't like a random reaction. I, I just forgot that he was there. Um, we suitcase inside this one, another suitcase. And, uh, oh, this, this guy's ascended or something, it seems. <laughs> no, he hasn't. Oh, there's just so much cool things happening during these recordings. It's great. So, uh, whilst this sort of, this boss not only got hit by a tree, but ripped in half. Very unlucky way to go. Contains a few items. There are bub lugs in the area. You'll have to deal with them. Now, crossing oh, over towards uh, Breakheart Banks. Uh, yeah, we're just between Mass Fusion and Breakheart Banks. It's just a wee fork in the road here. You can find... Another bus. Now, this one, unfortunately, and I, I literally am going to dub it the empty bus. I, I kid you not, there is nothing here. This is where the unmarked location should be, and I have checked. If there is a hidden cave or a hidden stash, I would love a comment below. Just reference the time and say, empty bus, I found, found what should be in this area. Because, uh, you know, I, I take the points in the map literally. Then I do sort of spread out around them. But I tell you what. There is, in fact, an unmarked location uh, closer down the way. I thought it was this tunnel. It's not. It's this boat. And inside, we are going to find... I can't, I can't remember. I haven't been here in years, so uh, let's go in. The fishing boat cabin. Right, let's see what's on the fishing boat. I think I can get a sea captain's hat in here. Yes, you can indeed. A fishing rod and uh, a wee ham radio. I think it's... Ooh, we novice... A one bobby pin in a dream. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, mole wrap, mate. So worth it. Got a bit of XP, though. Can't be bad uh, to that. What? What's that down there? Cotton yarn yardstick. I mean, it's it's a location you can go inside. Guess that's a cool wee factor to it. Eh, I'll take it. Okay, so uh, with that covered... Uh, I, I can't remember what direction to go the, to the next unmarked location, so uh, we'll uh, transition over to it, shall we? What a lovely little pier. The fishing boat, the random truck that I don't know how it washed up here, and a wee blue tent. That means settlers or someone was in the area doing something. And uh, I'd be right. Two lunch pails and uh, some fishing rods. Maybe they came from that fishing boat we seen earlier. Quite possibly. Although this does remind me of me and my mate, because <laughs> they seem to have died laughing, you know, chilling, have a bit of a fishing trip, just north of Breakheart Banks, um, you know, la laughing it off, like, uh, the bombs dropped, what what else were they gonna do? There's super mutants about, I'm sure uh, they just didn't like the luck. Uh, there's seems to be quite a bit in the water here, boats, a sunken fishing boat, and uh, barrels and plenty of other things there doesn't seem to be any anything in terms of items but i'm gonna go into the boat empty okay well i uh oh the truck is because this isn't a pier this is the back of a trailer that's a really cool interesting thing to see so maybe they brought the truck down reversed it in that is cool okay i have to hand it to them fair play i hope you used to were the ones that built this uh this sort of trailer pier uh you know because once for once we take it away, you couldn't tell me that wasn't a, a pier without looking underneath. See, that's some of the interesting things you find when you when you go and uh, just drain all the water away. I love the the documentary where they go around the world, like draining the water to show you, you know, like 
sunken battleships and tanks at the bottom of the ocean from the D-Day landings. But I digress because we're here to see unmarked locations in Fallout. Let's go! Another military convoy that mustn't have made it to its destination. This one was carrying bots though. Uh, Saltron and a Mr. Gutsy. Which means you're you're in for a wee bit of a battle when you arrive here. Uh, that's for sure. I think the APC, this one's sealed. Yep. Uh, the one on the truck is also not sealed. Explosives? Wooden crate. Boo. Ammo box though. That's not, it's not the worst. I mean, I was determined there was a steamer trunk here. And I think this is the trailer that I was near sure there was one. There isn't though. Let me know in the comments if you find a steamer trunk here. Again, low level. I don't know how much that influences um, whether there is one or not. But I'm always curious to hear. Uh, is there any... Oh, is there something in here? In this wee trailer here? No, there isn't. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a dangerous area. If there is a steamer trunk in this trailer that does spawn, well, it makes sense why there's an Assault Tron and a Mr. Gutsy. Or it's just environmental... Environment building either way pretty cool i mean can't really fault them so there's a really high out of reach location that we're going to deal with next let's jump over there well let's say jump we actually need a jetpack for it so whoa let's go this overhanging trailer located none other than uh, east of the slog oh by the way uh, that convoy we're looking at is between breakheart banks and the slog that we seen earlier it's just about there forgot to mention that yeah, seems to be a running theme. Okay, so this uh, this hanging truck is on a separate piece of freeway. There's no way up and not enough jet in the world will get you up here. So a jet pack with the power armor is your best bet. Now, once you do get up here, though, there is a steamer trunk. Now, this is obviously hopefully full of good level loot for you once you, you have the jet pack and you are ready to go. But... Uh, I, I love that they did add somewhere that's totally out of reach unless you have a jetpack. I thought there was maybe going to be a bit of rhubarb or steel that we could climb up or a ladder or something that I missed. But there is in fact nothing and you may never, this is a bit like the lover's suitcase. Um, although maybe you might have been curious to come up here. I'm sure at a certain angle you could see the trailers open. Don't know if you'd see the box though. Either way. I know a lot of these are completionists like myself, so you've got to you've got to get up there to have a look. And yes, there appears to be a camp uh, further south, uh, so we are uh, going to head head in that direction. See what we can find. All right, we are currently just south of the Saugus Ironworks and uh, Hub City Auto Wreckers, where we can find a wee picnic area. There's a wee lunch pail underneath, although it always seems to have a few multiples of items, uh, which is pretty cool. I've reloaded it a few times. Um, so yeah, neat wee place. Now, let's go on to this next unmarked location. It appears that a farmer or a settler, you know, judging by the, the tractor over here, uh, was trying to, uh, have a wee bit of a farm over here. There's about four Brahmin. There's a dead settler, sadly, and a metal bucket. Now, take what you will, Brahmin Island is what it's being dubbed. I have no doubt in my mind about that. Um, I have had a wee look, but you know what, actually, just whilst I'm there, I didn't see if this trailer was empty at the back. Ah, oh, there's one. That's all right. Can I open it? Highly unlikely. Ah, look, I, I always got to try. But yes, uh, Cow Island and a wee lunch area south of Saugus Ironworks. Uh, we've got a few more places in this to go, so let's, uh, let's see. You know the old saying, where there's a vertibird, there's power armor. In this case, we are actually just northwest of Covenant. And uh, this sunken vertibird is going to have some uh, decent wee items. Let's uh, let's drain the water away, give you a bit more of a idea as to what we're dealing with. There's the power armor. Water will probably come back here at any second. And what is it for my low level? A T45. No surprise. No items, it appears, in the vertibird. So, seems that the power armor is all you're going to get here, which, do you know what? It isn't the worst thing. Um, let's uh, just keep having a look. Anything else around the lake? There's a fridge. Always love exploring the waters. You never, you never quite know what you're going to find, even after all these years. Ah, well, it's empty. 
We, we, we tried. And uh, let's go on to our next spot. Now, this right here uh, is a two-parter, three-parter technically. Um, this car that pulled up and... Uh, oh, ho oh, oh, I've... Uh, I have fallen as I was trying to explain what is going on here. Be real road sign there as well. Uh, yeah, so... The guy in the wheelchair and the woman in this area looking out across the lake... I'm assuming came from Mystic Pines. Now, this is why I'm going to make the argument. Because Mystic Pines is right there. I would say this person went and grabbed her husband. And uh, brought them down to maybe their favourite fishing spot. That They loved this place and uh, wanted to just, you know, sort of finish it off there. Maybe this was their wee meeting place. But with the TV and the flowers and all, it, it's a pretty sombre scene. Now, at the end, you can find a fisherman. Uh, he's pretty chill. You can yarn away to him, maybe a bit of conversation. But the main takeaway point here at this position is in the pipe. This middle one. And you might be like, there's a door into a sewer. Eh, we're explorers at heart, so of course, we're going to go inside. Now, this place is actually complete spoiler alert for anyone that hasn't went to Covenant. This is the Covenant's compound bunker, where we encounter uh, these fellows, Manny and uh, a few guards. They will be questioning you and asking you a million and one questions when you come in here. And uh, you can deal with them how you see fit. But if you uh, want to explore the rest of the place, we are going to do that right now. Let's go. Hi, Manny. I forgot my key to into the compound. If you could be so kind as to give it to me. Thanks. He's a good sport. Yeah, I forgot it's a master lock door. Um, you've got to get the key off Manny. So, there are three hollow tapes to find within this place. There's Subject 12 Baseline. You'll probably be listening to them as you are pursuing through the compound. Now, this is the door we'll be exiting later, so keep that in mind. I'm going to try and explain this place. So, it's it's pretty straightforward to get all the good items um, to just be in and out. Fusion core over here. Plenty of compound guards. Don't worry about the, the bottom level. There's not really anything in the way of loot. This catwalk has been taken out, but it will act as a section we can activate later on if maybe you're getting overwhelmed. Now, uh, obviously this place was dubbed a bit of a, a synth testing ground to see if they could figure out how to find synths. Um, the test obviously didn't really work all that well. Subject 12 testing can be found in here. Toolbox and a wooden crate. Okay, so that's the second hollow tape, and we're into the third one. And uh, sometimes this can be easily overlooked just with the colour of the table, but the Subject 12 debrief and an office terminal, if you want to catch up on a bit of the lore. I like to have them playing when I'm on my own playthrough. Um, I will have them in a separate video. I, I believe this place does deserve a, a wee bit more of a, a deeper dive than me just running through it. But compound guards, uh, hello sir, we'll be passing through here. They won't be too happy to see you, most likely. And this is where it forks. To the right is kind of the final room boss. And to the left is to exit. Now, we're going to go in here first. Roslyn is standing, waiting to greet us. Hello there. And, uh, oh, took control of the screen for a second. There's a few of the, uh, the prisons. And uh, you can find Amelia Stockton over here. Don't know why I decided to do that. Bit of a strange occurrence. But there's a wee chemistry station. To the right of it, a bottle cap mine. More importantly, there's a steamer trunk full of great items. First aid kit and a camp stash. Um, and then you can read her terminal. And uh, that, that'll that be about it for the compound. From there, you'll just be exiting out and going back to the Commonwealth. It's a quick and easy blitz if... Uh, if you're not a too high difficulty, you know, you can just come and wreck through the place like a like a bull in a china shop. Um, if if that's what you're intending on doing. So let's get back to the Commonwealth and see what other oddities we can find. I have on really good authority that this is a reference to the Walking Dead game. We settler, ghoul, and another ghoul. Uh, apparently it, it's pretty reminiscent of the scene uh, from the game. So uh, yeah, it's pretty... Pretty neat. I got another girl over here. One is still alive, though. You'll you'll have to take care of him. We don't know where it is. We are located directly north of Covenant and south of Wildwood Cemetery. A fitting place to put such a reference. That's that's without a doubt. Right. Let's see. On to the next one.
A fan favourite location, this little trailer here with the sentry bot outside. It certainly tells you quite a bit about the character. Once you go inside, it gets even better. A death claw stake, quite a you know not the not the most common item in the Commonwealth. That's for sure, especially what you have to do to get it. Uh, wine. We've got a cap stash and a dress. And looking around, I definitely would say an eccentric person. Probably a female from the dress, lives in this trailer. Now the occupant is no longer here and might be yourself. I'm, I'm sure it was uh, to give a bit of an idea. Oh, there's a turd on top as well. A bit of a, a role playing idea, let's say, to, uh, to certain players. It's, uh, it is pretty neat. I'm, I have to admit it's just west of Medford Memorial Hospital. Uh, you do have to deal with the sentry bot. He's, he's not friendly if you try and go near the place. So, uh, yeah, be careful when you're in the area. Now, let's move on to this fine location down here. This is the locked trailer. And I've dubbed it, I, I feel it was like a trafficking trailer. You know, because human trafficking probably was occurring in this world. This is not by any stretch a perfect world, mind you. So, let's unlock the trailer. And show you exactly what's inside. Plenty of skeletons. Now, what were they trying to escape from? It's it's really hard to tell. There was suits, you know. Maybe these were... Maybe they were trying to escape maybe the, the draft. Or maybe, you know... It, it's it's hard to tell exactly what, what was going on here. They were maybe just being trafficked. It's, it's highly likely that might have just been the case. But... Uh, I know developers were definitely waiting for you to open this and be like, what is going on here? And uh, getting yourself some items from the suitcase. Our next unmarked location is actually very close. It's a wee Brahmin caravan that has been annihilated. You can find Fred O'Connell here. Alongside some mercenaries. Now, obviously, this is part of another wee scheme. Can I not open that? No? That's a little glitch. I think I remember coming across this and thinking I couldn't open the cooler. Anyway, uh, you can take all the items from them. It's, it's quite common that they'll be here uh, just north of the Taffington Boathouse. Speaking of the Taffington Boathouse, that's actually our next destination. Now, this uh, Malden drainage here is, uh, is definitely the spot to go to if you can deal with all the dangerous blood bugs that happen to be in the area. Dropping down, you can find over here Margaret Sutton. And Russell's note that we can have a wee read of before heading into the drainage. Did you see how the wall clipped there? Yeah. <laughs> it looked like it was all bricked up. So, in here, uh, there's a few mines. Oof, I forgot all about that. An advanced lock terminal getting you in to the steamer trunk over there. But there is far more to this place and it's quite easy for people to, you know, get the items there. But not realise you can cross over to the other side via this pipe. And there's a fusion core. There's uh, Russell here himself. Another trunk. And just lots of uh, items here. We've got Psycho, Maddox, Mantats, all the main medical items in the game. I think the only thing it's missing is Radaway. Or no, it's got Radaway. Radax is the only thing missing from that pile. And a wee chemistry station if it's an area you want to... Ah, disarm that. Another mine. Yeah, got to be careful of the mines about here. Uh, but yeah, the blood bugs are... They're level dependent, so you could come across a few nasty ones when you're here. All right, let's go back out to the Commonwealth. We've got plenty more to go. Just above the exit to the uh, Malden drainage that we were just at, you can find this little campsite. And again, more blood bugs, but hopefully you've dealt with them by this stage. Uh, a fine wee stash here. Could you, could you please move, sir? Thank you. I'm trying to show the audience this. Uh, we have sugar bombs, we've got Nuka-Cola, and mac and cheese. Even more items, as well as a suitcase and some ammunition. Good wee area uh, to explore between the Medford Hospital and the Taffington Boathouse. Uh, yeah, now uh, I think our next place is a bit further afield, so let's go. Obviously the area around the Malden drainage and the Taffington Boathouse would have been quite popular, especially close to Malden itself. This little play park is a testament to that, but going over to the bus, because yes, buses have items and we must explore every bus in this game. So, the back we've got a cooler and another skeleton who's uh, 
probably was having a wee bit of a giggle when it was all going down. That's good to see. You know, in the face of adversity, a bit of humour goes a long way. Medford Hospital right ahead as well as the Malden Drainage. So, uh, yeah, there's uh, quite quite a lot coming up. Where do you see? Look at this magnificent building. It's a derelict mansion, and to be honest, I really wish we could go inside. But in terms of items, there is something out the back, at least. Maybe she was running away from her husband, or... I love making all these really extreme, extreme views on on just random skeletons throughout the wasteland. I, I get a bit of a kick out of it. Wooden crate at the top normally has a wee explosive in it as well, despite it not being labelled an explosive box. We don't know where it is. We're north of the Tucker Memorial Bridge. I don't. It's not related to Tucker Carlson from Fox News, but it's uh, it, that's one way of remembering it, I guess. Going over here, we have two locations at the bottom. I call this the Raider Paint Shop. Now you're about to find out why, because there's no one here. There's a lot of paint. So either they were going to make explosives, because I'm sure paint, gas, and a used oil can make something, or they were going to paint up this nice little shack they had going on. Now, unfortunately, the freeway has given way here, but that opened up opportunity for another party. And you can see a wee lift here, so you probably can already guess that it's going to be gunners, because, you know, who else installs lifts like these? I actually want to know... Where, where on earth did they get these? There's no way these were here before the war, though they are quite rusted. I'd imagine they pulled them from construction sites, perhaps, you know, nearby. Um, that's that's maybe a given. Now, this does have two levels, and I, I, I used to forget that wee fact. Um, there's quite a scene upstairs as well. So, as you know, uh, the Lexington Freeway sort of goes into four uh, sections at this stage, and this one... Uh, it kind of ends right here at this camp. Now, once you grab a few items before bouncing up to our next level, we can see a plane has actually crash landed into the freeway. Uh, so it's sort of double whammy uh, for for the structural integrity of the place. We've got some raiders that are dead. Now, what I find it interesting about these raiders, I did say gunners do you there. This is in fact a raider camp. I don't know who killed them. My guess would be gunners and hear me out in this one the reason i'm guessing gunners is because they were shot by whoever came up in the lift now maybe it was a ragtag you know lone wanderer but let's face it it probably was a gang of gunners they you know were drinking they were like ah oh, who could that be and you know thinking it was their other raider buddies and it was a few gunners and they wiped them out and i reckon the gunners will be back to uh to finish the job if you want to go on up uh, with the lift, be sure to just press the... Oh no! There must be... It mustn't go the whole way then? Or maybe there was another button I missed. I'm determined. I'm certainly determined at this. There it is. Aye, so we'll press... Okay, I've just made a, made a bit of a tool of myself here. So uh, apparently it doesn't go to the next level. At least I don't think so. I'm going to test this here. After a lot of testing, I conclude that the only way up is to actually climb the freeway. So my theory of who killed them from the lift, I don't know if it holds too much water now, knowing that I can't go up. I assume there should be a way, but I can't get it to work. If any of you can, let me know in the comments. We'll be moving on to the next one. It would appear that the sediment has kind of shifted over the years on this massive Electrical pylon has uh, been dislodged. Would have been providing power, I'd imagine. Well, not providing, transmitting from the Poseidon Energy Turbine. That's uh, that's my well-educated guess. I thought there would be items or something, but I have drained the seabed. And I can tell you with absolute certainty that uh, it must be the pylon that's the marker. Uh, there is a wee rowboat out there. I've been over to it. There's nothing, nothing on it either. Um, if anyone finds any items in uh, this spot, just north of Poseidon Energy Turbine, near Tucker Memorial Bridge, and West Everett Estates, please let me know in the comments with a wee timestamp. I'm always interested to know. Um, I, I give myself a good bit of time to find anything. I'm, I'm quite completionist like that. But uh, on the map, it seems to be the big pylon. So that's what I'm going with. 
And uh, yeah, now, whilst we're here, we could actually just walk up the hill uh, to our next uh, unmarked location. It's right over here near West Everett Estates. Uh, you can see some military APC, so you know things are serious here. Now, there is a soldier who is on a stretcher with the first aid kit. Now, they were actually here rescuing someone with uh, a wee utility uh, protectron. Um, and we, I'm assuming he was maybe wearing a power armor suit, uh, but I would imagine he was the pilot of one of these aircraft that has smashed down in the area. I always remember passing and seeing the wee robot walking about, and I'm like, oh, I've got to go over and see what's going on. Uh, the presence of super mutants being so close, though, um, always makes it a bit of a, a bit of a tight location to get to and get out of. Um, and then that place is just a bit of a death trap when you come out of it. If you don't know what I mean. Go into Poseidon Energy Turbine and come out and find out what happens. <laughs> oh, great. Anyway, there's uh, a few more in uh, this general area, so uh, let's keep going. Stumbling about the Commonwealth, I find this little uh, little base camp. It's relatively small. Doesn't have any items in it. And there is a bit of a catwalk above it. Now, my theory for this in real life is that... Uh, they forgot about it. Someone was in charge of designing that. Maybe he was sick for a week and it was never done. Or, again, it is a bit of environmental storytelling. Someone just muscled together a bit of a camp, but it is beside the Poseidon Energy Turbine and West Everett, so the human was maybe dragged off by the super mutants in the nearby area. So the location checks out for what is nearby. Um, that is, that's a, that's a given. So uh, I will give them a pass on that one. Still, it would be nice to find a wee toolbox or just something to uh, scrap together. But it's always worth mentioning. Anything on the map, you know me, completionist. If you've made it this far, it's pretty obvious that I, um, I go all out to find every little dot or thing on the map that I can find. And it continues. Ah, well, this is a bit convenient. I was wondering what I might find here. And I didn't expect a bit of a scorpion den, and that is what I got. It seems to be once you get close to the area, more scorpions will show up. So, you know, given that fact, we're northwest of Relay Tower OMC, and uh, we are very close to the West Everett Estate, so this place is just super dangerous. There's super mutants, and there's massive rad roaches. Rad roaches, rad scorpions. Had a, had a wee moment there. Uh, but you can pick yourself up a spine and a skull if that's what you're looking from all the victims nearby. Oh, there's even more. Oh, there's even more. So this, this whole area just seems to be a sort of nest. That's pretty cool. And another body. And more. Yeah, it's just a big rad scorpion nest. Oh, another jump scare. It's actually, uh, it's... Three o'clock in the day, I had no excuse to jump there. I did not know that was going to occur. Uh, they are extra sneaky, it would seem. Um, but there are plenty of bodies, so lots of settlers, lots of victims. Oh, it's just the whole the whole rock is a massive scorpion, Dan. I, uh, I didn't even notice. I was just standing on the rock. I'm, I'm amazement that I've circled this whole place now. So about three rad scorpions pop out. Brilliant. At least we know now. So we can go on to our next uh, destination. Yep, I really think this location is quite literally some wild tar berry in a massive gaping hole in the water. I've drained the water away and I'm sure you will all be able to see that uh, I didn't find nothing. None the note. But if you're in the area, which uh, you probably are at this stage, east of Relay Tar OMC and west of the National Guard Training Yard, we can go up towards sort of backtracking in the rad scorpion nest but this particular side uh, has a 10 millimeter pistol and no jump scare i mean he was already walking about so maybe he already popped out eh i mean worthwhile though isn't it now let's head right across here to perhaps a familiar site to anyone that plays fallout you know the uh, the lost patrol mission kicks off as soon as you walk into this uh, this site now where you find all the burnt out power armor and you can find Knight Varham and a uh, Distress Pulsar and we duffel bag behind him alongside uh, lots of other items strewn about so be sure to stick about in the area. 
get everything that uh, that you possibly can. There's even wee wooden crate up there and first aid kit. The next unmarked location, very, very close, is just this. Two heads on a pike with a machete and a cigar. So some an empty milk bottle. It might be in reference to something. If you know, let me know. Um, otherwise, it's just some, some badass has just left it here. Um, which is a totally possible and amazing theory that I am going to run with. Because I think it's quite cool. Uh, if you want to know what this bit is, uh, it's just south of the Medtech Research. Uh, and you can obviously investigate uh, Night Farm and then go to the likes of uh, Recon Bunker Theta as uh, what, part of the quest. So uh, with all that in mind, let's, uh, let's continue. In all of my time playing Fallout 4, I never ever stumbled across this place. Three basement attached to a house whose toilet and refrigerator are no longer working. All right, let's go inside. I suppose I should tell you exactly where we are. We're just north of the National Training Yard and very close to Malden itself. Let's pull up the map. Boom. North of the Training Yard. Well, east of Medtech Research. Probably a, a better way to put it. It's just off the road. Inside, there's only advanced locked safe. There's also cigarettes. We've got baseball. Well, baseball. Uh, we've got an oil can and just scatterings of other items. Um telling by the the rubble here in this door this was probably a much larger complex underground um and obviously it's uh, no longer in use i wouldn't say it was a prepper i would just say someone that had a really nice basement uh support our troops captain cosmo i haven't seen this poster much girls 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 scott lee squares best entertainment i've seen all the other posters but yeah we bit of a man cave vibe going on now from this point we are actually going to be venturing a little further down the road. Well, don't worry, I'm not going to transition. I'm not going to do anything with the video. We're going to just walk, walk over to it. It's not that far away. It's always good to just be able to see exactly where I'm going. And ladies and gentlemen, that's why you always look to see where you exited out of. Because uh, I was walking in the wrong direction. That was a perfect, perfect way to demonstrate it. Want to go right up to the crossroads where you can see the medtech research and you'll find this bus now buses are always pretty peculiar this one is probably one of my top buses because we'll go in we're like what's going on here dog bulls there's a settler ah okay um there's ammo and a sleeping bag so someone's here and someone's got dogs i said someone's here there you are Raider appears with several attack dogs, we mongrels. Um, I haven't been ambushed that frequently, and it's a really amazing trigger that you can only find here. And it's, it's not marked in the map or anything. Let me know if you have ever come across this, or if it's one of your first times, because I know a lot of people see bosses and they're like, oh, I'm not really going to go into it, you know, not worth the time. This poor attack dog just seems to have just died. Now... There is a third location within this relatively small area. And it's this pond. And yes, I had a bit of a jump scare earlier. Off camera. I was be I'm being professional here. Boom! Marler Hunter appears. So uh, this is this is Hunter's Pond, without a doubt. There's actually two skeletons in it. One over here and one over there. So probably a couple trying to survive and they ran across uh, this Marler Hunter. So... I'd say he dispatched them pretty quickly. In terms of items, nothing in the pond, sadly. Uh, but of course, you can take your trophy piece of killing him. That's that's always a, a good one to point out. Now, our next stop is closer to the National Train Yard, so let's time jump over. Military convoys are always a wonderful thing to come across, especially ones that are heavily guarded by robots. But this one has a wooden crate, some ammo, but more importantly at the back, some power armor. We are due northeast of the National Guard training yard and west of a fan favorite Finch Farm. Now, there appears to be only be a Mr. Gutsy, but I am an under good authority. I have seen Assault Tron spawn here quite frequently. Do you have any items, sir? That's okay. <laughs> he doesn't seem to have much. But uh, yeah, one... One truck and two APCs. I imagine they only just left the training yard. That would be a, you know, to me, a pretty good estimation. And we have this fellow. 
Are you in a marked location? I haven't even checked the map here. Even if you're not, that's pretty cool. How often do you see a Marlurk eating a traitor? I mean, if you're not in a marked location, you were certainly a great thing to see for the viewers. So, thank you, Marlurk. We are going to move on. You can find a little warehouse directly west of the Reverie Beach Station or Reverie. Uh, whatever way you pronounce it, I, I can't actually remember. I was told the correct way by some locals and I have promptly forgotten. Anyway, uh, we have BAM. We can take away the water, have a good look, see if there's anything interesting just around this bit. No, just a half sunken boat and a power armor station. I mean, if you're in the area, it's probably pretty useful to know. There's some duct tape and wonder glue. Adhesive is pretty good to have on hand. Now, let's, uh, let's cross the river. And you can probably vaguely see, it's a bit foggy at the moment, but there's a wee Protectron trailer just west here. Now, very interesting scene. Love this trailer to bits. Uh, you can see a police Protectron outside. Inside, it seems to be a case of uh, a sort of murder-suicide uh, from the snub nose pistol and the bits and pieces, human jaw, skull fragment, face. So you, you know exactly what's happened here. Uh, probably a bit of a domestic. Then he, you know, he took his life at the end. And there's a police protectron outside just wandering about trying to see what's going on. Battered fedora gives you an idea that this was a bit of a, an investigation. I'm not sure how friendly or unfriendly the police protectron is. I, I assume he probably would be pretty dead on with you in the area. You know, I doubt he would have too much of an issue. And uh, yeah, this is on to our next unmarked location because it did say there was one just west here. So either it's this toolbox in this pile or it's the tractor. Either or, I'm going to cover both. Anything by the tractor? Uh, no, actually this is this is more cross or county crossing. County yeah, County Crossing. I was wondering what what was I getting wrong there? Uh, so this must be the unmarked location. Just simple uh, toolbox and bits of wood and all just scattered about. May as well pick it up whilst you're in the area. Right, on to... This was a jump scare. This is, uh, I think it's River's End Shack. If any of you want to see the video I did on it. I, I did have a genuine jump scare because it's a novice lock. And honestly, at this stage, I wasn't expecting... Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what. I'm out of bobby pins. This is the this is the shameful uh using a command on a novice door. Yeah, this guy who's sitting munching at what's what must be one of the settler's friends. Uh inside you can find whiskey, turpentine, and a weapons workbench. My theory on this one is either they were keeping the feral ghoul as a as a pet and he was feeding it or you know it got in there with his friend it's hard to know which theory stands better um both are pretty you know pretty accurate in my opinion i wouldn't would say that they're too far apart uh certainly so uh yeah let's continue the hunt i was pondering what part of the bridge here is the unmarked location and then it really truly dawned on me that north of the uss constitution and very close to County Crossing, you can find just a lot of weird things going on around this bridge. So, let's get to the first thing. There is a fridge over here with a bottle of Og in it. Once you pick that up, you can find that there's a little raft over in the distance. Let's, uh, let's swim right over to it. And it has two items, and I must have knocked one of them off. It had a coffee tin and a clean coffee cup. As well as some toothpaste. But it gets even weirder. If we continue over here. There is another barge. Possibly they were connected at some point. With a aluminium canister. And a tin can. Not sure what it's building up to. Where they floated from. Or what was going on. And if you go onto the boat. Or onto the boat. Onto the bridge. Things get even, even more strange. There's just like two people were sitting having a bit of a camp out on the bridge recently uh, i doubt they were having this when the when, before the bombs fell with some beer bottles but directly beneath them is that so yeah lots of unanswered questions about this bridge but still cool nonetheless right another unmarked location are these two ruined houses now number one here 
Doesn't appear to have anything in the fridge or, in fact, anything valuable at all. Just we skeleton in the corner. Oh, is that an item behind him? No, nope. sir. Miss, can can you move? Yep, nothing. There's some mutt for it behind this one, but I peered in and went, oh, oh dear. There's some vicious mongrels ready to run out the moment they catch a whiff of you in the area. But we want to top it all off, leave it on a high. So the final location for the Malden region are these two cooling towers. And as you could guess, they are no longer in use, but there's still some items that uh, people like us could just come in and uh, and take. We wouldn't create. Take that. You'd spin on over here and get yourself a flamer. Now, there are going to be some blood bugs. Normally, it's a pretty high level one, so be... Is that the height? No. Be careful is my best advice. You can get yourself a hard hat and raid the tool chest. Now, that, of course covers the entire Malden region of unmarked locations, as at least to the best of my ability. You might be thinking we're going over towards Salem, but no, it's in fact a little later down the line. We are in fact going over to the Fort Hagen region. Uh, it covers everything south of the Lonely Chapel um, and all the way down to the likes of the Glowing Sea. So uh, yeah, Narak and all will probably be included in that region too. I, th I think, or maybe it's, anyway, it's the Fort Hagen region right here, so, well, uh, catch us all over there if you enjoy, let me know your favourite parts of this video, comment below, like the video, and I'll see you all in the next one, thank you.